This is the man who inspired the counter-revolt, a close friend of President Mubarak and godfather to his son Gamal, millionaire businessman Dr. Ibrahim Kamal. He appeared on TV last night to call government supporters onto the streets. But he seems to have unleashed anger he himself can't control. So the revolution is over. So in my judgment, in my judgment, it is about time, it's about time for every Egyptian who cares about his country to go back to his work. The Egyptian economy has lost a great deal in the past few days. The young people who were innocently asking for certain changes, their requests have been met. We should not permit the extremist elements in our society to take over. But today, in the name of order and stability, you have created disorder on the streets. No, I have created here. You have seen, you should have been here from the very beginning with us. There has not been a single case of disorder and why now there was disorder we had throughout a crowd. Cairo this evening. No, no, it did not originate from here and it will not end in here. They came with um, pieces of machinery, they came with rocks, they came with knives, and they came to try to clear Tahrir Square of the anti government supporters who have started fighting back but were bloodied in the beginning. They're now chopping up the pavement to throw rocks back. It's mayhem down there. Did the Mubarak government orchestrate this? This has been organized on some level by the Mubarak government. We don't know what level, but the people that we are seeing attacking Tahrir Square now are Mubarak supporters. They were bussed in. Some of them were paid. Quite a few are government employees. That simply does not happen in Egypt without official sanction. His supporters flooded the square. Some rode in on horses and camels, brandishing weapons and hurling rocks. They are being blocked. Ibrahim Kamel, General Secretariat of Mubarak's administration, praised the new wave of protesters and dismissed the demonstrators demanding change. I'm sorry to say that these few people that are standing in the square are not Egypt or the Egyptians. Who are they? They are part of a minority that is intent on dealing with Egypt and the regime, a blow that I hope will never happen. As we spoke, thanks that we have, thanks. Gunshots rang out from the square below. Given what we're seeing behind us at this moment, do you truly believe there can be a peaceful transition of power while President Mubarak is still in office? 100% there will be a peaceful transition of power and I am sure that what you're witnessing today will be something of the past, hopefully sooner than many people think. Rocks back. It's mayhem down there. Did the Mubarak government orchestrate this? This has been organized on some level by the Mubarak government. We don't know what level, but the people that we are seeing attacking Tahrir Square now are Mubarak supporters. They were bussed in. Some of them are paid. Quite a few are government employees. That simply does not happen in Egypt without official sanction. Richard, a member of parliament went on Al Jazeera today and admitted business associates close to the regime did in fact pay some of these pro-Mubarak protesters to hit the streets. Does that surprise you? No. The, the purpose of this may have been to intimidate the people in the streets, may have been to create a real sense of crisis, to force the army's hand. Throughout much, much of Mr. Mubarak's 30 years of rule, he tried to portray himself as the person who stood between Egypt and chaos or between Egypt and an Islamic alternative. So the sort of violence we've seen today, while some of it may have been spontaneous, the idea that some of it may have been orchestrated by the president and his supporters should not come as... But Ibrahim Kamel, a close confidant of Mubarak's, says he is concerned about an extremist power grab and insists the majority of Egyptians support the president and want to give him time. 90% of Egyptians will tell you that President Mubarak represents for Egypt something very valuable. They stand behind.